Welcome to our latest van build tour. So if you're new to our channel, I'm Sarah. Me and my husband, Alex, actually lived van life for two years full time, traveling all over the US and Canada. And we recently settled down because we got a little baby boy on the way. And now we build out vans for other people. And it's so fun to get to create this dream home on wheels for other people so that they can also hit the road and travel. And this one we're so excited about because it's for a family of four. So this is a 2018 four x four, 170 Sprinter Extended 3500. That is a mouthful to say, but this van turned out so well and we're so excited for this family of four who's gonna be living in this full time, traveling all over the country. We can't wait to see their adventures. So with all that said, let's start the tour. You'll notice when you walk into this van is that we installed a two-person bench seat because they do have two kids so this is actually a transit bench seat we had a professional install this so it is bolted through the frame it is not the standard three-person bench seat for a sprinter so this is really nice because it keeps this walkway through here and it keeps it open and nice and easy for them to get through to the back above that the kids have a couple of little storage cabinets that they can put their stuff in and then next to that we have their closet as well as their isotherm 130 liter fridge so with their closet they actually mostly pack in the little storage cube so they didn't want that much hanging space and it gives them a ton of shelf space to be able to put those packing cubes in there and that's where they're storing most of their clothes so above the cab we actually have this nice headliner shelf that we did build ourselves but we got the brackets from van Sillery, which is a great option instead of buying the ones that are already manufactured are usually like four or five hundred dollars we did more of the DIY route, which gives this family a bunch of extra storage to put stuff up here. And then their curtain pulls across. Not only that, but we did upgrade the sound system in this van, which is pretty cool. So you see that below the driver's seat. And then on the passenger side, we have the S-Bar diesel heater, which that thing is a serious van game changer. And last but not least, in the front, both of the seats do swivel so that they have another place to sit and hang out and eat and talk or whatever it is that they want to do in this van. So it just gives them another option for seating. Next up is their kitchen. So the first thing you'll notice is you're probably thinking, where is the stove? And we always forget to mention this in our builds. And I'm so excited that I finally remembered. They actually have a small portable stove that they set up and just put on the countertop and they can either go two routes they could do propane or they could do an indu induction cooktop because they have an outlet right here where it'd be really easy to plug it in set it up when they need it and the reason why we did that is because as you can see their kitchen is not that big and so if we did a built-in they would have lost all of this counter space and for them they wanted some of this counter space they wanted to save on space and realistically, you only cook once or twice per day, so that's just what works for them. With that said, they do have a ton of storage packed into this tiny little kitchen, the nice farmhouse style sink that you guys know we love, and we did a nice tile backsplash, marble backsplash for their kitchen. And this was actually something really cool that we found at Home Depot, and we'll link everything down below so you guys can check it out. They've got some upper overhead cabinet storage, for usual, we love these pneumatic hinges because they lift the door themselves and they also help keep stuff closed and in here. In their actual kitchen, they have a really big drawer for storage, a couple of shelves down below that for a pantry, a little bit of storage underneath the sink as well as another cabinet and another drawer for, again, even more storage. Then we have their bathroom. So this is a Nautilus self-cleaning retractable shower door made for RVs and vans. They are custom made, pretty cool. You've probably seen these in our vans before if you've ever seen any of our van tour videos. So in here, this is what is considered a wet bath because the shower and toilet are together. Now, one of the reasons we do that is for privacy so that when you're using the toilet, you're not sitting out somewhere open in your van because this is a family. And then the second reason is it saves on space having them both together. So obviously if you're showering, you want the privacy. If you're using the toilet, you want the privacy. 
but then combining the two together actually takes up a little less space than if we try to do a shower and toilet separately. So they do have a two and a half gallon electric hot water heater that they can take hot showers in here, as well as a separate urine diverting toilet that there is a five gallon holding tank mounted underneath the van. I also quickly wanted to mention that this layout with the dimensions will be in our van layout guide. If you're watching this right when it comes out, it'll be in there in a few days. If you're watching this later, it's probably already in there. Link is down below. It gives you 3D renderings for all of the van conversions that we've done so far. So let's talk about lighting. In this van, we definitely wanted it to feel light and bright inside and for them to have ample lighting in the evenings. So we have four LED puck lights that are wired to their 12 volt system installed in the ceiling in the main part of the van. And we also have two LED puck lights running underneath the happy jack, which is the bed lift in the back of the van, which is connected to a separate light switch on a dimmer in the back part of the van. We designed that so in the evenings, if you're getting ready for bed, you can just flip on that light, you can do all your stuff back there, and then you don't have to get out of bed to come all the way to the front to shut the lights off up here. Over top of the kids' bed, we even installed some stick-on LED puck lights that are color changing, so the kids can either use a remote, or all they have to do is just push the light to change the colors or turn them on and off. We also installed an LED rope light underneath the toe kick in the kitchen for some nice ambient lighting in the evening. It's not so direct and in your face. This is a favorite feature of ours to install in our vans. It's a four gang 12 volt switch panel. So you have four switches that you can wire to different components in your van. This one turns on their water pump. So then they can have water coming out of the sink or out of the shower. They have one pump for both. And then these three switches control three 12 volt ball valves connected to their three holding tanks underneath the van. So they have a five gallon tank connected to their urine diverting toilet a seven gallon tank connected to their shower and a seven gallon tank connected to their sink. So it's all separate systems that they can dump responsibly just by flipping a switch. Also in this 12 volt panel, you have two USB outlets that you can use to charge your devices even without your inverter being turned on. And you also have a separate 12 volt charging, kind of like your typical um, cigarette lighter jack that you could use to plug in a fan or something else that runs off of 12 volt. Above that, you've probably seen this in our designs before, but this is our 12 volt control panel. So here you have your remote for your inverter. This is pretty cool. We've never had one of these on our control panel before, but say I want to take this bed down. Kids are ready for bed. Oh, let me just drop the bed down, kids. So we have the remote for the Happy Jack installed right here. Pretty freaking sweet. And then again, the remote for the toe kick LED this is their monitor for their holding tank. They have one 30 gallon fresh water tank that's mounted underneath one of the benches in the back. And then this is a remote for their S bar heater, which Sarah mentioned is mounted underneath the passenger seat. So we'll talk more about the Happy Jack in just a minute, but let's show you the back seating area. So this is the main sitting area and really the main living space in the van. So we wanted a really comfortable space for this family of four to be able to sit together, eat together, play games together because Sarah and I love to play card games on the road. So we needed a really sturdy table for this family of four. So instead of the traditional lagoon mount, which we've done on our last few builds, we went back to the old tried and true uh, Springfield pedestal that's mounted to the ground, lifts from the middle of this, and then you simply unclamp it and it drops back down. All the cushions come together to make their bed. But during the day, it's a really steady, ste wow, <laughs> sturdy table. One of my other favorite features about this van are the two big windows that we have in the back. Because there are four people sleeping back here, we wanted them to have lots of ventilation with the vent fan being up in the front of the van. So both of these windows we installed on the sides have two T-vent openings on either window. So you can literally open four different spots in the back here to get ventilation moving through as they're all sleeping or hanging. As you can see, just drop the table down. Now to give them room to easily be able to get around the table, we cut 10 inches off. And this is just a separate section that drops in to finish the bed platform. bed mode down here we are going to lower the bed up top and show you guys how this whole happy jack thing works so here we go <laughs> it's pretty exciting
We installed these fun little rock climbing holds that the kids can use to climb up into their bed at night. So as you can see, they've got another sleeping area up here. Pretty cool. They've got a four inch foam mattress up here and it's really comfortable. I laid up here yesterday and it's really fun. And we've got these little color changing lights with fun little remotes for the kids up here so they can control their own lighting at night and have some fun color changing LED lights. So that's that, pretty cool. And then during the day, again, this raises up and they have their seating area down below. This van has our base electrical system, which includes a 3000 watt inverter charger from Victron. They also have 300 amp hours of lithium battery powered by Battleborn batteries, who we love, lighter and smaller than other batteries. And they have 400 watts of Renogy solar up on the roof, running through their Renogy Rover solar controller. So they've got plenty of solar to power their batteries. And with a rig like this and their power consumption, they can probably go two to three weeks before they would need to charge by plugging into shore power to just top off their batteries. We did mention that they have 30 gallons of fresh water. Well, how do you fill that fresh water tank, you ask? Well, this little hidden compartment. Just open this up, and then they can pull out their fill hose, which I've designed this to be really easy to be able to fill up on the road. So they can just plug their filling hose into this hose, open up the valve, fill up the tank. They can look at the tank right there. When the tank is full, they shut the valve off, then they can go turn off the hose, and the whole thing goes right back into the compartment. You can also see this is their two and a half gallon Bosch hot water heater. This van, we did install the typical Lumines side ladder and a Lumines roof rack for the 170 extended 3500 van, which is why you do see the dually wheels here in the back. Thank you for watching this van tour. We hope you guys enjoyed this build. We are super proud of this build. Our first family van completed and stay tuned to our channel for more van tours, more build updates. We have two more in the pipeline. We're gonna be cranking out here soon. And if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more awesome content like this, and we will see you guys next time.